Tony fa talo fan to the to tunu le vainga o le aso e pe ona fa lo antu lo o mo wala fa no e fa tarto no ai ni so alor tanto tunu ya o fa manu e ina ile poriro youth awards bolenito sanga luan fe luo se fulu bonetasi fi fiela le mo wala fa no ma emelita fa sa le le leota emelita fa sa le le leota she is a poriro youth award winner for 2021 recognizing her achievements within sports Emelita Fasale Leota is a volleyball player and is awarded the second time. Ole te milo na lua le nei ua whamunui na i fo Emelita i le nei fa i longa tau loa mo poli lua. Ia mo le u maulava noe fa tara noe o ia i le nei. Ia so talofa lava Emelita and welcome to Samoa Capital Radio. Talofa o e mua mua ona si i le vinga o ma le whawhetai i le atua. Olo ingo o Emelita Fasa Lele Leota. Uh, thank you, Murray, for giving me this opportunity to speak on the Samoa Capital Radio. And yeah, thank you. Talofa Emelita, can you share with us where are you from in Samoa, your villages, who are your parents and grandparents, and where are you from? Uh, so I come from the villages of Mulifanua, Letongo, Fasito Uta, and Talimatao. <laughs> and my grandparents on my mother's side is Osanga, Fasalele, and Mongo. And my father's side, um, my grandparents are Isumu and Galeleota. My dad is Sam Leota, and my mother is Kima Fasalele. Emelita, can you describe the feeling uh, when you receive this award and describe what the award means for you? And this is the second time. Uh, the feeling that I got when I found that I received this award for the second time was uplifting because throughout this year I, have, I haven't really achieved as much as I have in the past years. So I thought I was going down on a slump. So receiving this award has uplifted my spirit and given me more confidence to get back onto what I want to do in the future. And this award means a lot and... It will help me get to where I want to be with the passion I have for volleyball. Yeah. Faftai. Emelita, what was the process for you applying for this award and how did you find out that you had won? Uh, the way of applying for this was almost like applying for a job, like face it as like a CV. Uh, all I had to note down was my experiences, what I have achieved, whether in sport, or any like little things that I, ha I have volunteered in and why I, why I should get this award. And I found out for, by getting a phone call from Rachel Scott, who, um, who works for Partners Porido. Yeah, she called me and excited me <laughs> during the day and yeah. Emelita, in your category for sports, describe what you do the sports you play, the teams you're in, and how you got to where you are today? Uh, I play quite a lot of sports at the moment. Uh, right now I'm playing rugby, um, soccer, and volleyball, and badminton. But mainly volleyball is my sport. Uh, I represented New Zealand uh, back in 2019. And this year I made the New Zealand junior women's team again. And we're planning on going to Australia, maybe, if COVID is nice to us. And I've made Wellington rep teams for volleyball for the past three years. And yeah, it's been an honour. Emelita, can you describe the role your parents and your grandparents and your family has on your life and especially on your journey so far? Um, my parents and my grandparents are, are really really important part of my life, especially for volleyball. I wouldn't be able to have this opportunity without them because my dad drives me in volleyball. He's my main person to go to for advice and who to go through for anything, whether it's rules about volleyball or if it's how could I improve on this and how could I improve on that. 
And he is also my Uber driver. Takes me to trainings every single day. He he waits for me for three hours, maybe even five. Yeah, he's my main guy. So thanks to my dad. So yeah, family's important. Emilita, can you also talk to us about the role Bishop Vian College has played in your life and in your journey to date? Volleyball. Although my family got me into volleyball, I first played for Bishop Vial when I was a year nine. And <clears throat> they gave me the opportunity to, um, to play f my first time for volleyball at nationals in both senior and juniors in year nine. And that's where, it, where I found my, my thing, my purpose in volleyball when I played for Bishop Vial. And that's where I found my, my teammates who really supported me and drove me to um, become a better player and a better teammate to them as well. So, yeah, my, my school has given me this opportunity as well. Emilita, in the next year or the next two to five years, what do you want to do when you leave school or where do you see yourself heading? Um, so next year I have plans to um, just to train for the next six months as hard as I can because uh, we plan to go to Australia to play in the state champs uh, in Can oh, Sydney. So I'm training for the next six months and hopefully I can get a scholarship out of it uh, overseas, maybe in Europe or America, to play the NCAA divisions for volleyball. So yeah, I'm just fingers crossed and hope I get that far. So yeah. Five time for the chance to talk with you, Emilita. Now I want to give you the chance to give a, a little encouragement to the young people of our community who are listening right now. Uh, so for the people, the young people of Porirol, I my one thing, my one advice thing to give to you is to always ask anyone, because uh, throughout the things that I have experienced, I've never actually grown without asking. You always ask questions, even if it feels stupid, just ask for help with or ask how to do something, advice, it gets you somewhere and it grows connections to other people that you may have in the long term and can get you somewhere. So always have the passion, confidence to ask. Yeah, just thank you for giving me this opportunity and shout out to my school, Bishop Riyad. Thank you for driving me to uh, apply for this award. So yeah, thank you. Once again, Fafatai and Melita, congratulations. All the best with volleyball and your future. We know it's bright and we can't wait to see where God takes you in the next couple of years. God bless.